Hello everybody, welcome to another skills exercise review. This one is going to use the level. We're going to do some squaring. Very simple exercise. Let's go ahead and get into it. So to start with, we need a piece of easel paper. This will be provided to you. Stick it up on the wall. Don't worry about how straight it is on the wall. Actually, the more crooked it is, the better it is to get through this exercise. I'll show you why. So we're going to pull out our plans and you see what you're trying to produce. It's going to be page one shows you the tools and materials we're using and also a simple diagram of what you're trying to create. It's going to be a rectangle of your size, whatever size you want to choose. And it's going to have diagonals and then a vertical and horizontal line in the center of it. There's a step-by-step -step process. If you go to page two, the first line we're going to make is going to be the top line. We're going to use our level to do that. So I'll go ahead and start with my top line. Make sure it's near the edge of the page. Max out the size of this so you get the, the most uh, bang out of your buck for this particular sheet of paper. So you're going to lay your level up here. And what you're trying to do is to center that bubble and create a level line on our straight edge here so we can mark a line. Keep in mind, some levels uh, like this one only have a continuous straight edge on the bottom. So you're always thinking about the bottom as the line described. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to set my level and center my bubble as perfectly as I can. Now I'm going to draw that line. So there is my first step done. It is a level line at the top of the page. We're going to work our way around this rectangle all four sides. So now I'm going to work this side over here. I'm ignoring the edges of my paper because they are not necessarily plumber level. And if you try to use those to line this up, you're definitely going to end up in trouble. So now I'm watching this vial to create a plumb line. And I'm going to get it as perfectly, that bubble is perfectly in the center as I can. Now I'll go ahead and scribe that line. So I have two sides. What I know now, and we're going to go ahead and check this, because I have a level line here and a plumb line here, this is 90 degrees in between them. I have a square here and we can check that. So this is my framing square. And when I lay that framing square in here and line it up, you can see I have a perfect alignment with both sides of, a, of my framing square. I know this is 90 degrees because this tool tells me so. So I have two tools now that I can use to create a square or a 90 degree angle. So our next step is going to be to create this bottom line. We also want that level. So we're going to go ahead and lay this on here. I'm going to raise it up a little bit for the camera so you can see it. I'm going to set my level at a place that is keeps that bubble perfectly in the center. I'm going to go ahead and mark that line. So there's my third line. and. We're going to talk about the relationship of these two level lines when we're done. I have one more side to mark here and I'm going to go ahead and use. Uh, also, remember, we have our straight edge on the side over there. I'm going to go ahead and line up my bubble, center it, double check it and then mark my line. So now I have a four sided rectangle and we have uh, a level line here, a level line here plumb line here and a plumb line here. So my question now, we can pull out that same square, is do I have 90 degrees in all my corners? So we check this corner for 90 degrees. Let's check this corner. And if I line up my lines, that one looks good. Let's check this lower left one. And those line up perfectly. That's my 90 there. And I also have my 90 here. That's great. So let's go and draw our diagonals. Uh, I'm using a two foot level. I'm going to pull out a longer level because it won't reach. You will have a three foot level. So this should work just fine for you. So I'll line up my straight edge here. And I'll go ahead and mark that line. There's one diagonal and then I'll mark my other one. So now we have our diagonals. Let's go ahead and measure those diagonals. If you remember from our squaring lesson, if we pull a tape on those two diagonals, we should get a measurement that's equal. This one is 28 and three quarters. And from this corner, 
to this corner, that's 28 and three quarters. What that's telling me, well, it's telling me a lot of things. First of all, it's telling me that this is a perfect rectangle and that all of these corners are 90 degrees. It's also going to tell me that these lines here, the top side and the bottom side are exactly parallel. So they're going to measure the same. So I have 20 and a half inches between these two lines. They're parallel. My side to side is also going to be parallel. So this is going to be 20 and 3 sixteenths and 20 and 3 sixteenths. I've created a perfect rectangle with parallel sides and parallel tops and bottoms and equal diagonals with one tool only, a level. Now we did not measure out, so we didn't know exactly what the rectangle was going to be, what size it was going to be, but it didn't matter. We ended up with a rectangle that was perfect with 90 degrees anyway. The last steps for this rectangle are going to be adding a vertical line and a horizontal line in the center. One other thing we know is that if this is a perfect rectangle and all of our corners are 90 degrees and all of our uh, diagonals are equal, both of our diagonals are equal, where they meet is going to be the exact center of this rectangle. So let's go ahead and draw a level line in the center of this rectangle. I'm going to lay my level in here on that point where those two intersect and I need to adjust it so that I get my bubble right in the middle. And I like that. So we're going to draw that line. So now we have a third level line It's going to be parallel to the top line and parallel to the bottom line. Let's go ahead and draw a plumb line right in the center here as well. I'm, I'm trying to center my bubble as perfectly as I can. And we're right on our mark. So now we have a third plumb line that's going to be parallel to the left side and the right side. So you can see this tool, if you can use it accurately, can create a lot of situations that would require more complicated measuring and math to produce. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.